uh, welcome back. Uh, this is BGP tutorial part four. I will talk about BGP messages and BGP states. Uh, here are the messages that the BGP uses. The very first message is the open message. That is the very first message that each router will send to each other as soon as the TCP mess, as soon as the TCP uh, connection is established over TCP port 179. Inside that open message, you'll see a BGP version, the local AS number, the BGP router. I'll show all of this uh, once we start capturing packets using the Wireshark. So I just want you to remember that the very first message that each BGP router will exchange or will send to each other is the open message. Then also you will see keep alive message. Basically, want, just wanted to make sure that the other router is still alive. So the keep alive message is sent periodically every 60 seconds, every one minute. And if for some reason the router did not hear anything from, did not receive any keep alive message from its remote peer, it will wait for up, up to 180 seconds, uh, three minutes before it will declare it as dead. Then you'll also see update message. So update message is uh, basically, uh, it's used to exchange route and you'll see that all the time. A notification message, um, that's when if there's a fatal error that happened in the BGP or there's like uh, capability changes or a TC, a BGP session reset, um, you, you'll see that. Uh, someone, uh, one router will send that notification message. Another um, message I uh, forgot to put in there is a route refresh. Uh, you, you'll see that when you um, when you do a soft reset of the BGP, like in terms of like when you do a clear IP BGP asterisk soft, because you just want to force your BGP to exchange the route again. So you'll, you'll see a route refresh message. All right. So that's about it for messages. Let's go, let's go uh, next to the BGP states. Um, a BGP state is basically the finite state machine. So finite state machines, like a, it's a um, computer science model. It basically says that a machine can only be at a one in a one state at a given time. It can't be, it can't exist at the two states. Uh, finite state machine is very deterministic. Like you know, like say for example, a machine can only be at one state, and then at at that state, say for example, idle. If it satisfies every requirement, then it can transition or change to another state. And once it gets to another state. Once it satisfies or meet all the requirements, it can then transition to the next state. Or if it doesn't satisfy the requirement, then it can transition back to the... Uh, so that's what a finite state machine. It's very deterministic. You will know that the machine can only be at one set of time. So uh, at the BGP states, it starts with idle. Um, that, that's the initial state of the BGP. And after that, it would move to connect so move here uh, to connect. At, at the connect state, it would just wait for its remote peer for a TCP connection. We know that uh, we know the remote peer because when we configure the BGP, conf uh, when we configure the BGP, we, we tell them your neighbors this is going to be this and this from your remote AS. So what happened is that at the connect state. It will just wait for the TCP uh, session from the remote um, peer. If it's successful, if the TCP connection is established between the two, then they will send open messages to each other. And say, for example, that that didn't happen. It was waiting and waiting and nothing. Didn't hear anything from the remote end. Then the BGP will transition to active state. Active state is basically now the router will will attempt to initiate the TCP connection to the other end instead of waiting from the connect uh, state, right? So again, on the active state, if the TCP connection is established, then they start um, um, sending open messages. And if it doesn't, then it would keep retrying. It'll do a, re a connect, reconnect, retry until that expires. And if it expired, then it would transition back to connect where it would then still wait. So 
uh, if you remember on our previous videos when we do show IP BGP summary you will sometimes see idle or active and then we now you know if it's an active that means that it's actively trying to initiate the TCP so that it can send the output message like let's let's say for example at the active state uh, the TCP connection is established and they were able to send the open message if that is the case then it would move to the next state which is the open sent open sent basically says that hey the TCP connection has been established and I already sent sent uh, the uh, open message I'm just waiting for the reply as soon as uh, receive the reply to the open message that it sent earlier then it would send a keep alive message and as soon as uh, after he sent the keep, keep alive message and then it would trans the router would transition the bgp would transition to open confirm open confirm basically says like hey i'm just waiting for the keep alive message that i sent on the previous day and once it received that people replied to the keep alive then it would transition to establish and then at the established state, that's when they start. Um, that's when they start um, exchanging, sending update message, exchanging routes. So that's it. Uh, that's what BGP states in a nutshell. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, start capturing this, and hopefully uh, we'll, we'll see this whole thing in action. All right. So. Um, so what I did earlier is that on router A, I basically shut down every interfaces. Here, I'll show you. Show IP and brief. I guess so I'll just. So uh, the loopback is shut down and then the, uh, the Eastern Zero is shut down. So what I'm gonna do is like, I'm just gonna capture, I'll capture uh, the packets on router A more short mind me later and I'll put this in here so we can see what's happening and then I'll go ahead and slowly uh, uh, unshot them no no shot says and loop back zero no shot all right and while we're at here, we'll go ahead and uh, do a and show IP IP uh, BGP uh, summary. So right now you see it's idle, and let's do and show IP BGP summary. All right, and so both of them, um, router one and router two, are idle. That's the very first state. It's still idle. Idle, idle. Just bear with me. Um, they're still idle. But let's look at what's happening here. So right now, they're still idle. Um, router one over here is trying to initiate a TCP connection um, still haven't heard anything from router 2 uh, let's see maybe router 2 show IP interface brief oh. Uh -huh. oh I shut down the loop back uh, hold on uh, back zero no shut. Show IP EGP summary. All right. So as soon as I all right. So this is what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, let's see. All right. So from router one, a uh, router A, it's trying to establish a TCP connection over one seventy nine. See, uh, this is the uh, destination port. 179 TCP as soon as as soon as the TCP's connection is established from here like send send act acknowledge 
And in the very first message that router one or router A sent to router B is open message. And let's go to check what's in open message. An open message is over here. So it tells you the version, the AS number, the whole time, and also the BGP identifier or the BGP router ID. So as soon, uh, so after that, uh, router two do, do the same thing. So like I said, they would start exchanging open messages to each other. Then as soon as uh, after that, they'll, the next thing they'll, they'll send is a keep alive. Uh, the keep alive is just basically making sure that it's still alive. Um, yep, so router, uh, router A sending to router two, keep alive message and then after that the next thing that they'll send is the update message so what is an update message you'll see uh the network layer um yep network layer reachability information that's when they start exchanging uh route network subnet and same thing for this one uh let's see and and after that, it will be a periodic uh, keep alive messages after they send. So router one here send the update message, and then router two also send the update message. And when we check, this is what the router two was sending. It says the uh, prefix is 24, and then I'm sorry, the length is 24, and then the prefix is 22, 22.0. So now, how about this? Uh, let's go and simulate let, let's uh let's go and trying to get a notification so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to i'm going to disable uh ethernet zero so that we can get a notification but we might have to wait for like three minutes um hold on or longer uh, zero no uh so I shut down this interface. Hopefully we'll start seeing the notification. There you go. Uh, it took a while. So there's the notification message. Let's click on that. And there you go. And then it tells you the major error code. It says, hey, the whole time timer expired. And that's why we're sending that to you. So let's, uh, let's put it back. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, just wanted to make sure that you see it again. I don't want it to be like, very quickly see uh where is it notification so the notification message and then inside that notification message it's it tells us like um both the major and the minor i'm sorry no there's nothing zero on the minor code but the whole time ex expired on um, a major code error all right let's go ahead and bring that interface back uh see interface ethernet zero slash zero no shut and and after that there you go it will establish a tcp connection then again send open message again and redo the entire thing again and again all right oh i promised that i will show you a tcp reset so if you don't want to bring down the tcp session for the bgp the entire bgp session you can actually do a soft soft bgp uh, reset we do a, you do a clear ip uh, bgp uh, asterisk soft and then when you click that then it would see there's another one right here uh, route refresh I forgot to to mention that the route refresh message so it will, it will tell like hey i wanted to refresh though and this would force a router one to send update message sending it back again and then telling me this is a route ref refresh message and then router two